On this page, they continue talking about astronauts, and they are called space heroes. If it wasn't for the men and women going out into space, we really wouldn't know much about space, would we? Many men have traveled to space since 1969. Women, too. And here are two pictures of Mae Jemison, Sally Ride. So far, only robots have set foot on other planets. Robots called rovers, say that word, rovers, can take pictures of what they find. This helps us learn more about the planets. And here is a picture of a rover. Pluto was named by an 11-year-old girl from England. Her name was Venetia Burney. Take a look at that rover. On this page, it talks about learning about space. Telescopes help us see planets, moons, and stars that are very far away. Have you ever used a telescope? Space probes, like rovers, can carry tools to study the planets. Scientists have found more than 400 planets outside our solar system. There are more to be discovered. Maybe one will be like Earth, just right for life. What if someone is looking at Earth right now and wondering, who lives there? What do you think? Do you think there is another planet like Earth out there, possibly where other people are living? Here's a silly sentence to help you remember the order of the planets. My very eager mom just served us noodles. Read that with me. My very eager mom just served us noodles. The M is for Mercury. The V is for Venus. The E is for Earth. The M is for Mars. The J is for Jupiter. S is for Saturn. U is for Uranus. And N is for Neptune. That's a pretty cool way to remember the planets. My very eager mom just served us noodles. So for today's reading, there are two things for you to think about. First question, how are robots helpful? And second, instead of a question, try this. Try reading the silly sentence on page 59 a few times so you could start to learn the planet order.